I finally had some more time to play Elden Ring and I got my hands on one of the craziest Ashes of War, which is so much fun to play. Bloodhound Darewill was without doubt one of my favorite bosses with a pretty epic skill set. I really enjoyed this fight. But basically, this Ash of War allows you to dance around on the battlefield, be a flipping ninja literally, dodge almost everything you can come across. And in this short guide, I'm going to show you exactly where you can get your hands on it. So let's get right to it. So for this one, what you want to do is travel to the Lenny's Rise in Kaelid. Many people know this side of grace because of the Grail's Dragon Barrow. Right there you have the ball. Every time when you dodge it, you can get your hands on a pretty nice amount of runes. But what you want to do right here is pretty much rest until nightfall. And then one of the members of the Knight's Cavalry will be waiting for you on the bridge. If you take down this bad boy, which happened in a pretty funky way for me by the way, he jumps off the cliff. You'll be rewarded with the Ash of War Bloodhound Step and boy oh boy I love this one so much. I decided to duplicate it right off the bat and also put it on my Ushi Katana. With a little bit of magic scaling you can tell that this bad boy literally hits like a truck. But most importantly I think this one is great fun to use, especially in sticky situations. For example, right here we have these machines of war. Every now and then they will attempt to grab you into their cage, deal a lot of damage, but with the Bloodhound step it is very easy to step away from it, then re-engage, deal a little bit of damage, and then go back again to reposition yourself pretty much on the battlefields. Boss fights also become a lot more fun with this Ash of War, even easier to be honest. In this situation, I was fighting the Magma Worm near Mount Gelmir, and you can tell that these bad boys can hit pretty hard. And it's not always about dealing a lot of damage, sometimes you just want to have extra survivability, especially in this case, because the flames, for example, are pretty difficult to dodge, especially if you have to do multiple rolls, which cost a lot of stamina. In this case, you just use one of those steps, which already covers, let's say, three rolls in distance and they don't cost a lot of mana or FP, you can just disengage, check out what's gonna happen next, teleport back to their faces, hit them a couple times and disengage again. I think this one is a lot of fun to play with. I can see this ability even shine in dexterity builds with daggers for example, because it is super easy to disengage and even get behind enemies, deal a lot of damage in their backs, especially if these enemies are slow hitters. Uh, I use it in different boss battles and different fights with multiple enemies and I can tell that right now it is so much easier to just trim away some trash mobs, reposition yourself, check out what's happening on the battlefield and yeah re-engage every single time. If you like to move fast, work a little bit with dexterity, intelligence, I think this is definitely an Ash of War for you. Of course, if you want to use it or try it on multiple weapons, don't forget to duplicate it with a Lost Ash of War. Anyways, that's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like. And of course, if you're new to the channel, a lot more is coming your way. Subscribing is entirely free and also supports the channel. Guys, a big thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. Peace.